Hello, everyone. My name is Peng Xiangzhu. Today, I will talk about the correlative virtual inertial dormitory. Multi-road systems that have the ability of communication and the perception can collaborate to accomplish missions more efficiently and robustly. Collaborative localization is a technique to improve the localizing accuracy for the whole group. It's an essential part to ensure the successful completion of multi-road applications. On the other hand, Virtual energy sensors are cheap and lightweight. As a result, they have been widely used to estimate the poses for mobile devices. In this paper, we use virtual energy sensors to achieve collaborative localization. And uh, we proposed the collaborative virtual energy odometry algorithms. In our algorithm, we make use of the commonly observed features to improve the accuracy. The closest work to ours is the centralized method. In the centralized method, there exists a fusion set that jointly estimates all the states and uh, covariance. So all the measurements are processed centralizedly. Ideally, it can achieve the best accuracy, but it's a lack of efficiency and uh, scalability. In this paper, we first propose a centralized equivalent algorithm that can achieve the equivalent accuracy as a centralized method, while it's more efficient since it has a, a distributed propagation state. After that, we propose the fully distributed algorithm, the disk VIO. In disk VIO, each robot can process the IMU and camera measurements distributedly. And it's a, the most efficient and uh, scalable method. So it's most suitable for a resource constrained platform. In this presentation, I will focus on disk VIO. The contributions can be summarized into two parts. The first is uh, disk VIO. We make use of covariance intersection to achieve a fully distributed setting where each robot only estimates its own state by communicating with its neighbors. The method is more robust, efficient, and scalable. The second contribution is a centralized equivalent method. This method will be used as a benchmark to evaluate the performance of disk VIO. Consider a group of N robots. For any robot I, the estimation state includes IMU state, the calibration parameters, and a sliding window. The sliding window is consists of uh, uh, cloned IMU poses. Uh, we assume each robot can communicate with uh, um, uh, other robots, but we do not require all the robots can communicate with each other. Uh, by using the cameras, the robots can observe many environment features. We divided the features into independent features and uh, the common features. Common features are the features that can be observed by more than one robot. Uh, this, is, this will be the constraint to improve the localization accuracy. Our method is based on the well-known MSCKF. In MSCKF, there exists four steps. The, in the first step, uh, the robots propagate its state according to IMU dynamics. In the second step, whenever you have a new image, the robots uh, will clone the IMU poses to build a sunny window. In the third step, to avoid including the features position in the state vector, uh, we perform non-space projection. After that, in the fourth step, we can make use of all the measurements across the sliding window to update the, our state. Uh, here, consider two robot case, robot I and the robot J. Once common features are used to update the state, their currents are correlated with each other. In disk VIO, we drop the cross covariance PIG. As a result, we have a distributed propagation and a clone step. Each robot can propagate and clone its state and the covariance in the same way as a single robot case. 
So there is no need to communicate with any other robots. On the other hand, if you use a centralized method, uh, all the robots need to communicate with the other robots to propagate and uh, clone the cross covariance. So obviously, disk VIO is more efficient in the propagation step. Here we can see the perspective projection camera model. And the two kinds of features, the independent feature and the common features are used to update our state. In disk VIO, the good thing is for the independent features, each robot can process it in the same way as a single robot case. There is no need to communicate with the other robots. For the common features, here like the common features between uh, observed by robot I and robot J, robot I only needs to communicate with robot J. However, if you choose a centralized method, even for the independent features, uh, robot I needs to communicate with uh, the other robots. Uh, and for the common features, robot I, robot I not only needs to communicate with uh, robot J, it needs to communicate with all the other robots because there exists cross covariance between robots. But how to handle the unknown cross covariance between robots? In this in, in our uh, method, we make use of the coherence intersection. It's a conservative update strategy. Uh, in this figure, PI and PJ are the coherence ellipse for robot I and uh, robot J. The red one is the CI coherence ellipse, and uh, it's it is guaranteed to be uh, larger than the unknown true coherence. Uh, by using CI, we can limit the in the robot communications to gain computational efficiency. The important part is that we can guarantee the consistency of our estimate. Note that if your estimate is inconsistent, your filter can diverge. Uh, by using CI covariance, we can have we we have the CI EKF updates. Um, normally, people choose the CI ways by minimizing the determinant or traces of the posterior covariance. In our experiment and the simulation tests, we find that constant weights can also work well. So uh, in our method, we use constant weights to speed up the uh, CI EKF update. Consider a common feature observed by robot I and uh, robot J. Uh, th th this feature measurement is, is, is dependent on the features, uh, position, the features global position. To get rid of the dependency, we have one choice to directly perform non-space projection on the system. And uh, we, we only need the subsystem in the blue boxes and uh, we can use this in our CIEKF to update the robot eyes state. However, since the common feature can be observed across many, many frames, and then the, this, this vector can be a very large vector. To be more efficient, we fully explore the sparse, sparse of Jacobians. We first perform non-space projection on robot I and uh, robot J uh, separately. After that, we have four sub uh, systems, and we only need the systems that are in the red boxes. For the top system, since it is independent with another robot, so robot can uh, update its state using EKF. For the bottom system, we can perform left non-space projection to get rid of the dependency on, uh, on the features global position. After that, we use CIEKF to update the uh, robot eyes state. Uh, in this way, we can have a more efficient uh, uh, update steps 
since we dropped the part here is uh, uh, this in this, this system that are irrelevant to drop the eyes state. We first evaluate uh, our measured uh, using Minecraft simulations. We simulate three different uh, data sets. The first is a small room data set. The second is a three story building data set. The third one is a non corridor data set. In all the three data sets, we compare the disk VIO and uh, the centralized, uh, centralized equivalent VIO uh, against uh, the single robot case, uh, referred as open means. Uh, it means each robot run open means independently. They do not make use of the common, commonly observed features to improve the accuracy. Obviously, the accuracy are improved for all three robots, and the disk VIO and the CC VIO are consistent. To further evaluate the performance, we use tune dataset to create a uh, three robots uh, scenarios. Since the dataset are connected in the same room, we can simultaneously read the rows back to mimic a three robot cooperative case. In this video, you see uh, three robots moving, moving in the same room. The, the red points are the common features and the white points are the independent features. Three robots only occasionally observe the common features. From this table, we can find disk VIO can reduce the error by almost 50% for all three robots. Uh, additionally, we timing the execution time that includes the propagation, tracking, and the updated times for each robot. Disk VIO has, has a similar efficiency as the single robot wings. Uh, in conclusion, in this paper, we propose two algorithms. The first is a fully distributed algorithm, the disk VIO. The second is the centralized equivalent algorithm, CC VIO. We use monocal simulations and a real world data set to evaluate their performance. In our future work, we will consider including scan features to improve the performance. And also, we want to use robot to robot measurements when one robot are in the field of view of another robot. Uh, the last thing is that we want to deploy the, our proposed algorithms on a real multi MAV system. That's it. Thanks.